Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Head Split Records. We have Spawn with uh, the Spawn of Satan. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually just called Spawn of Satan or if they just go by Spawn. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, I'll read you the little story here by Jim Satanic. There's a photo of him in 2002. And these seem to be Hell's Headbangers uh, 7 inches. I'm guessing there's like 5 songs on each. Uh, this one was actually recorded by Reaper. It's just two tracks, so I'm guessing it was, yep, it was a split seven inch with Evil Angel. And this right here was a split seven inch with Sethanus by uh, Hell's Headbangers. So I'm guessing this is a Hell's Headbangers release on other formats, but this collection on head split records right up my alley i'm a big non-slaughter fan and this shit is just evil and obscurely awesome it's just kind of right up my alley like uh the live recordings like i, I really like the rehearsal stuff there's like 22 tracks it's just fucking sick like I, I really love this stuff i'm i'm kind of a like i'm a sucker for this shit like i really am but um spawn was a satanic envisionment of mine since the year 1989 i was trying to assemble a demonic death thrash outfit with a couple of guys from a local crossover band we wrote and haphazardly recorded some material, but as time passed, our ties grew weaker as members went off to school and moved away. I have been chasing this dream for 13 years. I followed the lead guitarist out to a college town and began writing and rehearsing again in late 1993. This could continue for about a year until I graduated from the university in the town known as Kent, Ohio. While I lived out there, I met Wayne Richards, an enthusiastic, aspiring metal guitarist. He was, he is with the band today and is the force behind the music. Chris Dora and Wayne collaborated with me and wrote five thrash tunes. I felt that it was only fair to have them be involved in some writing. The older material took a seat in the back of the bus, so to speak. I do this band and others to broaden my creative horizons and to express my love and adoration to the very thing about this world, to the very best thing about this world, metal. I joined Nun Slaughter in 1995. I was an instant fan of the band's primitive and raw approach to death metal. It was about at the same time SOS began, which was then called Spawn. But because of all the others that have added of Satan, that was when I first heard Nun Slaughter's first demo. I have compiled cassette tapes of songs that are not yet completed lyrically. What you are hearing is a lot of ad-libbing some actual written lyrics, and some satanic influence from several foul spirits driving me into fits of unholy possession. I truly love the satanic things, the seduction of the succubus. In its complete form will be a right to you hound of hell. Jim Sadistic, Anno 2002. So you get 22 tracks total of evil death thrash. And it's just really good. Like, if you're a fan of death thrash, then, yeah, 
I would consider this. I would get I would get this before it's gone. Because I'm sure buying each of those seven inches on their own is going to cost a lot more than a single cassette or a single CD. Or I don't know if they've released this on a 12 inch. Because that'd be pretty fucking badass, honestly. But uh, the first five songs are from uh, Bloodsick, which has a uh, cover art from uh, the Dumbwitch Horror. Pretty cool. Sinister Forces was originally released as a split 7-inch with Evil Angel. Hell's Headbangers 2008. And Bloodsick was uh, Hell's Headbangers Halloween 2002. And the last split was Satan, Satan, Satanas, Hell's Headbangers, 2010. And there's like a three-headed Cerebus type Satan thing. But really evil, fun tunes that are pretty obscure and I find very enjoyable. I know this isn't for everybody, but... If you're a fan of Death Thrash, fuck yeah. Riffs for days. Like, the Hell's Headbangers material is really good, but I really like the rehearsal stuff as well. It's just fun to listen to. Like, it's a piece of metal history. I know some of you, I never heard of this band. Well, that's what makes it so interesting. If you've never heard of it, now you get to check it out and enjoy something that you might have never else heard anywhere else. You might have never known this ever even existed. Spawn or the Spawn of Satan with the Spawn of Satan on Head Split Records. Definitely get into this if you're a fan of Nunslaughter, if you're just a fan of Death Thrash Metal, and if you're just a fan of Evil Tunes. I wish I could headbang so bad. Shit breaks. Like, I instantly fell in love with this tape. Yeah, 22 tracks. The Spawn of Satan. Two Sides of Blasphemy. Like I said, if you're a fan of Death Thrash, you can't really go wrong here. It's kind of dialed. Really good stuff. I can't wait to go over to New Horns and Hoes with you maniacs. But um, I need a few more questions for the q and I tried to do it, but... Did not have enough questions, so hit up that video and go leave a, a couple. I need at least five more questions, and we can get the shit done. And uh, like I just uh, was reading the questions all. Like, I did a. I tried shooting it earlier today, but it just didn't work out the way I wanted to. So. I apologize, but uh, I will re I'll reshoot it and stuff and make it, you know, proper. But um, I I, I just uh, I don't know. It just I felt like I, I should have had more questions. I there was more like people just uh, saying like keep it up and stuff like that, but like that that wasn't really what I was trying to get at. Uh, I'm just trying to know where everybody is when I don't go over, like, straight up, like, releases that you know are, like, death metal and stuff. Like, 
you can't just be close minded your whole life. Like you kind of ha- like you don't have to be, but like a good example is a band like Neurosis. Like some of you might be like, oh, you know, yeah, if it's not death metal, fuck that shit. Like you can't. For me, you you can't be like that. You have to have an open mind and shit. Like if you don't, you know, <laughs> admit that his hero's gone is heavier than like. Some death metal bands, like, yeah, I, you don't really know what you're talking I'm sorry, like, legit, you don't know what you're talking about. There's so many, like, non-metal bands that are just, like, way heavier than, like, like even, like, you know, a band like Disrupt. To me, Disrupt is way heavier than, like, half of today's modern death metal bands. Like, 100% heavier in every single aspect. And it's not death metal, but it's still extreme music. And that's all that really fucking matters. Same here. Like, this isn't death metal, but it's still close enough that it's fun to listen to. If you don't have neck injuries, you can fucking windmill as fast as you can and enjoy it. With uh, horns and hooves, oh. Like, just, you know. Hell yeah. But... Let's get some more comments and get a proper live stream done. But thanks for watching as always, and thanks again to Headsplit Records, the Spawn of Satan collection on Headsplit Records. Get into it. Hails. Thou 